What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So my name is Steve and I'm a reseller. My job is to go to thrift stores and find things cheap and resell them on places like eBay and Poshmark for profit. One of my favorite places to do that is the Goodwill Outlet, better known as the Bins. They open up at 8 o'clock. It's currently 745, so that's going to be where we're going. It's already 9 o'clock. The crowd is in bad. There's about 19 people in here, so not overwhelming. I just found another Toomey bag at the bins. I've been finding some good stuff. Here's a couple of vintage pieces I found. This one is a Ron John surf shop, Cozumel, Mexico. It's like a lightweight cotton zip jacket. Print on the sleeves and the back. And an athlete's foot little rainbow colored canvas bag. I don't know if it's worth anything. I don't think athlete's foot is around anymore. So we'll see, it's worth a pick up, it's very light. All right, it's 9.30. They're changing out the hard goods. So I think after that, I will probably leave. I can't get into the melee, so I have to wait till they clear out. Not enough room between the bins and the fence for the hard goods. So my bag is pretty much full already. Now I'm stacking on my lap and then I'll be out of here. All right, so we did pretty good in the bins this morning. We're mm -hmm. here for about two hours. And I want to say I ran into my new friend and fellow <laughs> YouTuber, Dion. Hey! So I'm going to put a link to her channel. She does some awesome videos. Oh, thank you. You do the best videos. If it wasn't for you, uh, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, you please. made me trust the bins again. Yeah. Follow him. So I'm going to put a link to her channel and a screenshot. So go give her a subscription and check her out. All right. Thank you. All right. It was nice you to again, meet you. Right? Yes, ma'am. He made me spend money. Yeah. He made me spend money, but he's probably going to make more money than you me. You got a lot more than I did. <laughs> All right. So that was a good, decent haul from the bins. But it's quarter to 11. I was there longer than I normally am. But um, got some definite good brands. They're going to make me some money for sure. And it was cool running into Dion. First time we met. She has a YouTube channel much bigger than mine. Like I said, so go, you know, give her a chance. Check out her videos. And I'm um, going to go inside, get all this stuff spread out so it's not all wrinkly. And I'll run some comps. And I got some orders to pack up. And we'll keep this video going. All right, so I got three orders going out. Today's Friday. So last night was kind of slow, but three isn't bad. First one is just this little two-pack of these Vulgari. to like a scrimp. Vulgari is like a nourishing skin cream. So not much. I think they sold for like 10 bucks. found these at the bins. Probably paid a quarter for them. And I'm going to put these into a Ziploc bag. So in case they open. Maybe I'll even put a little piece of scotch tape over the lids. And just into a little bubble mailer. The other item going out. A pair of Buffalo David Bitten jeans. These will go into a clear suffocation bag. And then into a padded flat rate. And the third item going out. I packed up last night. It's a tricep push down bar I picked up at a local thrift store. I already have it packed, but I haven't printed a label yet. And it's kind of heavy, so I want to see if there's going to be a difference between USPS and FedEx. And there's a good chance that there's going to be, so let's check it out. Packaged up, bubble wrapped, and I put it into two um, the eBay bubble envelopes. You know, doubled it up, and it comes out 19 inches long six wide two high and it weighs two pounds eight ounces for usps priority two pounds eight ounce 19.62 15 dollars and 27 cents now let me check all their options didn't change any dimensions i just scroll down <clears throat> fedex home delivery eight dollars and 94 cents it's almost half the price so guess what I'm doing? FedEx and I'll drop it off at Walgreens. All right, so I just pulled up at my wife's office building. It's 1.30. My son gets out of school early today. His car is here getting detailed by the guys that come once a week. And he has my wife's truck. So he's going to come here, drop off her truck. He's going to hop in with me. We're going to go to the mall. Yep, the dreaded mall. Resellers, we hate retail. But either way, just like I did for my older son when he started driving, Nick wants a pair of nice Ray-Bans for when he's driving because it's, it's hard to drive down South Florida. It's so sunny without sunglasses. So we're going to go to the mall and get him some sunglasses 
Then I'll bring him back here, pick up his nice shiny new details car. But either way, I want to go to the mall, especially that I have a pair of Ray-Bans that I found at the bins. And I assume they're old and real, but I want to find out what the model name is, because I don't see these online. And I have a bag of jewelry that I've accumulated from the bins. I have some like old like clip-on earrings that have diamonds in them. I have a couple of brooch pins that have diamonds in them. I have a gold bangle bracelet and some silver bracelets. I want to see what's real and what's valuable and what the value is. So hopefully I can find a place in a mall that will do that for me and see if we got some serious money here that I found at the bins. All right, here comes my dude. He's driving my wife's truck. Look at my man. Just stop. Where are you going? Oh, teenage drivers. Take that. Give it to mom. You know where to bring her car? Yeah, the loading dock right here. Oh, so that's what she said? Yeah, she's taking it. All right, and you come back. I'll wait here for you. All right. Unless, unless you want something different than Ray-Ban. So then... I thought they used to have them without the gold underneath. Maybe not. All right, so you want which ones do you want? Uh, you like those? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Steven, the black and gold. Okay. So um, try them on. See how they look. Let me see. All right, so successful trip to the mall. The guy in the Ray-Ban store said the Ray-Bans I have, he pretty much sure they're real. The lens, the marking on the lens is rubbed off, but he says everything else looks good, the logo and everything. So they're vintage. I don't know what model name is called. He didn't know either. So maybe I'll try to sell them. The jewelry, I went into the, I don't know, was that... Mayors or I don't know what it was called, but um, looked at the jewelry. None of the diamonds were real, except for the ones on the airline pilot pin, which I still have and haven't sold. The big bracelet was stainless. The two smaller bracelets were sterling silver. The two rings were sterling silver, and the money clip was sterling silver with turquoise, cat's eye, tiger's eye, and the other two stones. Couldn't think of the name. And I think that was a guy. Was that a woman? I wasn't sure, so I didn't say. It was either a manly woman or a feminine man. Because there was, I saw moobs. You know what moobs are? Huh? <laughs> Do you know what moobs are? <laughs> and of course, my man, look at me. Let's see the glasses. Styling and profiling. You're looking good, kid. All right, so back home. It looks like I might get a few hundred bucks out of this jewelry. So um, let me show you the pieces I got. I found, I think, all of these at one time in a bag. It was like in a, what was it, like a briefcase type bag in a Ziploc bag. So it was a pretty good score. And it was been months since I've had this stuff. I was always waiting to get to the mall where I, someone could look at it. And I got it done. So let me show you the pieces real quick. Here's the jewelry. The first one. It's pretty cool money clip. The person at the jewelry store said it was sterling silver. And it's got different, like I guess, stones in it. Turquoise, cat's eye, tiger eye. And he didn't know what the purple one was. If anybody out there knows what that purple would be, drop it down below. I got this ring. Just This is also sterling. It's like an octagon shape with two little black band so it makes like a three band ring he said it's not worth much maybe 10 or 20 bucks another ring that is sterling this one's pretty I don't know kind of plain but it's got like these lines in it how good that's going to show up it almost has like a gold tone mixed in there I got this turtle brooch is that how you say a brooch 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 I don't know Turtle pin, how's that? And I know obviously that was not a diamond. In the center, that thing's huge. But in the top 
Well, there's actually one missing there, but there's little stones on the top of the legs and then in the head and in the eyes. So I didn't know. He said it was just costume. Pretty cool little piece. I don't know what I could get for it. You know, again, maybe 10 bucks or something. I was hoping these, I didn't know if this guy didn't, didn't think it would be gold. These are just clip-on earrings. Old school. Shape of a heart. Tons of diamonds in there. At least what I thought were. But now that I think about it, the guy didn't look at it. He just threw them aside and goes, no, those aren't real. So how do you know unless you look at it? I'm seeing some sparkle in there. But then again, if those are all real diamonds, I would think this would be real gold. And either way, those would be pretty valuable if those were real, even if they were small chips. So either way, I'll chalk it up to vintage costume jewelry. Maybe I could get 10 or 20 bucks for that. I don't even know. Anybody knows about this stuff, drop me some comments. This I've had for a while as well. I think I got this separate from these other ones. This is a, what is it, United or American Airlines. It was a flight attendant 30 anniversary pin. And it has five real diamond chips. And the guy at the jewelry store threw it to the side. I was like, oh, check those. Those are real diamonds. Because that's a real pin. It's not a plastic toy. And he said, yeah, those are real diamonds. And I got some bracelets. This bracelet, I believe that's a Figaro link. Pretty thick one. He said this was stainless. But he said these sell them in the jewelry store for like 100 bucks. I could probably get like $50 for this bracelet. I got this bracelet, which I learned was called a Mariner Link or an Anchor Link. And this is Sterling. And then I got this bracelet, which, man, I can't, I don't remember the name of that link. I looked it up last night. They were calling it like a Gucci link or a, I don't know, whatever. But this was also sterling. All right, now let's take a look at what we got the bins today. Everything I got came out to six pounds, and it totaled up at $12.13. So, got a couple of hats. First one is a Volcom hat. Great brand. I sell their shorts all the time. Either going to sell this or I might just keep this for myself. I like Volcom. Got a BMW hat. Nice and clean on the inside. It's got the small BM logo. Has a small BMW logo in front. Maybe 10, 12 bucks. Found this bicycle tube by Bell. 20 inch bicycle inner tube. Sealed. Not much. They go for like 10 bucks. And there was a Guitar Hero guitar, but it was the really like one of the cheapest ones that are out. It's like this brown and gold one by Activision. They sell for literally like $10 to $20. So what I did, I swiped the strap off it. So I have a spare Guitar Hero strap, and I'll just hold on to it because one day I might find a good expensive one, and it might not have a strap. So kind of things like this, I always think about ahead of time having little spares and extras of certain things that can go with something else that you find later on. I found another Toomey bag. This is not an expensive one. It's basically just like a little laptop tote. But still a Toomey bag, right? So you don't leave it behind. Good shape. Nice and clean. It's got the padded interior. So it's just a laptop bag. Um, not much. Probably only 20 bucks. Picked up a pair of Tommy Hilfiger cotton jeans, you could say, cotton pants. Got the stripe and the flag on the pocket. Size 38 by 30. This was pretty cool. I don't know what kind of value. There's no comps out there. Rainbow striped. And this athlete's foot, which I don't think exists anymore. I'll have to look that up. So I'll give it a wash, a little dirty. So, I don't know, might be, you know, 10 to 20 bucks as well. Very lightweight, probably cost me a dollar. Here is a pretty cool t-shirt. This is a vintage, made in USA, single stitch, on a Hanes Beefy Tee. National Wildlife Federation. Silver Anniversary, 25. Earth Day, 1995. So, this is what, 25 years old? 26 years old now? 
good graphics, a little animal print, and there's some good comps on that shirt. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren cable knit, I believe this is called. It's just a quarter zip, size large, and it's lamb's wool. It says it right there, 100% lamb's wool. And then this is a vintage jacket I showed in the video from the store. Ron John Surf Shop Cozumel. Says it down both sleeves as well as on the back. In large print on the back. And this is the last item. I always hang things on the side and forget about them. This is a Pro Spirit vintage, like a um, pullover, windbreaker type track jacket. It's got those iconic, you could tell when it's something's vintage, especially by those colors. Those purples and greens and pinks that they used to use. This one's purple and green. Got like a pouch in the front. And I'm not going to list this yet. This will go into my vintage tracksuit collection. All right, now let's take a look at the comps of everything I picked up today. Appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.